Stall spin accidents are one of the leading causes of fatal accidents in general aviation. With this video, we're fortunate to get an inside view of a near accident in the Schweitzer 136, which is a medium performance all metal glider produced from 1980 to 1982. There are a few items to look at as we watch this video. The first is airspeed. Schweitzer publishes a wings level stall speed of 35 miles per hour. But that stall speed only applies in wings level or 1G flight. As the bank angle or load factor increases, so does the stall speed, and Schweitzer provides the stall speeds for various bank angles in the manual. While the increase in stall speed, and minimum sink speed for that matter, is less than 10% in a 30 degree bank, the increase more than doubles to nearly 20% in a 45 degree bank to 42 miles per hour. Add some extra load factor, say with the pitch up, and it increases more. We can clearly see he's below that value. The next factor is turn coordination. Skidding the turn, or using too much inside rudder, increases the tendency for a stall to quickly evolve into a spin. It's hard to see here since the camera angles off to the side, but the Austrian does appear to be to the right of center, indicating a skidding turn. It takes a couple of turns for the pallet to recognize the stall and spin for what it is, initially believing it was just turbulence from the ridge. During that time, his control movements are unresponsive due to the stalled wing. We can verify that's the condition because the indicated airspeed stays very low despite the nose down attitude. Right here, you can see the pitch down, reducing the angle of attack, recovering from the stall, and thus stopping the spinning. The airspeed quickly recovers. Let's see that again. The other important aspect here is the terrain. When you're thermaling thousands of feet above the ground, you can safely fly slow as you have plenty of room to recover. Your terrain, you need to be sure to add extra speed to ensure you don't need to recover, as there's precious little room to do it. We're thankful this pilot was able to recognize and recover from the spin and make it home okay. I also want to thank him for posting this video so we can all learn from it. Fly safe. Thanks for watching.